right hi guys welcome oh god sorry i'm trying to think where to put you so it's oh sorry you're working with me um, i'll try and make this a quick video but i need to you may have to work with me quite often because uh it's uh getting really busy now and uh, I'm, oh, I might try and get one of them phone holder things. I'm sure I've seen them on eBay where you put it above you and it so that you can we can talk and work at the same time. Well, not talk. It's more of me talking to my phone in reality, isn't it? <laughs> How bizarre. <laughs> right. So just quickly. My friend Polly. Oh, hang on. My friend Polly has been trying to get me to do more videos about bullying and the effects it can have. And I said, at first I said no. And I said to her, why don't you do your own YouTube channel? Now, Polly suffers with PTSD from what happened to us in our childhood. Um... And this is the sort of effect bullies can have on people. Because bullies are extremely ignorant and they have no heart. Now, she's a great public speaker. Absolutely amazing. And she really, really does get militant. But for some reason, she's scared of making a YouTube channel. But after our discussion last night, I can understand why. Now, I'll just make this quick. I'm quite a private person and I don't like to blabber my life to the world. But um, you will get an insight to probably the, the foundation, if you like. Me and Polly, because who of our parents are, we were bullied at school very badly. And there wasn't, wasn't that much help out there. Um, not as much as there is now. But even with the help out there now, it still can be hard work, very hard work. Because back in the day, bullies just used to get told off and just huff off and that would be that. And they'd just continue to do it. But even if they were told, they'd still well shrug their shoulders and just go off. Nowadays, they like to play the victim, which is rather concerning. So, because of, obviously, we can't, we can't blame our parents, you know, that's the job they chose to do. And um, it is, you know, not our fault. It's the bullies' fault for thinking they're clever. And bullies do think they're clever. Now, like I mentioned, well, I put in from Polly's speech um, at the hall yesterday, um, I put the most important bullet points on my community page on on youtube on this channel and uh, it can have a, a a real i personally think it can have more of effects on your adulthood than it can do while it was happening when you were young if that makes sense it's hard to explain <laughs> some things are really hard to explain aren't they now um me and polly we have the mental scars and the phys you know the physical cut scars to prove it. Oh sure, but thankfully, um, unlike some people who have been bullied to the extent where it becomes torture, I think I was quite lucky because I've only just got like lighter burns. Look, but anyway, I I don't want any sympathy. I'm doing this video for Polly because she asked me to do it, and um, I. After last night, the meeting last night, um, I, I thought it, it's right, it's it's time. And uh, so, yeah, bullies think they're clever. If they can't take the stronger person down, they will go for the next one who they, who they class as weak. Just like narcissists, they will use flying monkeys, if you like, their supporters, their, um, oh, oh, friends at school, um, to mainly do the dirty work for them and that all leads to and you know it's it's horrible because during during your life you're always going to be very hyper vigilant and uh because of what 
what happened. And I know there's other people out there who have never really spoken much about bullying. So I want this to be a place where you can come and share your story if you want to. That's that's up to you. But um, I, we saw, but we also saw the downfall of our school bullies, and uh, what happened to two of them was actually very horrific. And uh, people say karma can be a bitch, this, that, and the other. And yes, it can, and it really can. But sometimes it happens in a way you least expect, and that can be more damaging to you, the victim of the bully, um, because. You always sort of hope that they're going to either be remorseful and apologise, but they don't. Like I said, they, they tend to go on to play the victim, don't they? And uh, they'll get their fly monkeys to carry on the harassment and uh, it can lead to all sorts of problems. Now, being tied up and tortured in the school toilets wasn't a very nice experience i did me personally i did fight back and i fought back for polly as well because she just cried in the corner and let it continue so because i'm a bit of a feisty redhead i thought i i, I need to get us out of here um polly was screaming for the dinner ladies no one was around you see bullies are bullies think they're clever by trying to take you into a in into a position where no one else is around and uh, that in itself is rather concerning and and over the years we we hear all these awful reports of uh, children being stabbed in schools children you know getting tortured or set on fire in the playground and and sadly and this is why me and Polly advocate for 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 schools colleges businesses and universities to crack down more on bullying with all the help out there they schools don't want to be known for the school of bullies do they they don't want to um it's an irritant for them it's a burden for them they they'd rather not deal with it you know the government's say oh yeah we're cracking down on this we're cracking down at that but are they are they really if they were why does it take the the you know us um and the nspcc to try and do more why is it taking the public to try and do more if the governments are you know in adverted commas trying to crack down on it now children's minds are very very important and uh, me personally i'm not really maternal i mean i had leah but i in my eyes i've done my bit for the nation <laughs> and that's it i'm i'm not really a kiddie person however i will never ever ignore a child and um you know if if you are in the queue let's just make up a, a, a scenario and you're lining up to get to pay for your shopping and you hear a ch mother or a family behind you with a really quite a chatty toddler and some some children like to talk to strangers don't they or they'll um try and involve them in their in their little conversation they want to have with you and all i will say is despite how much of a rush you're in despite how much if you're a kiddie person or not or if the conversation is rather tedious please don't ignore that child because that in itself can have a damaging effect on that child and it really can always make time for children because their minds are so so important the downfall of our bullies so they they all well the ones that are alive are still living in the village and i can tell you now they just walk around with their heads down looking extremely miserable and i thought me personally i thought that I was going to be full of hate for the rest of my life for them. I, I detest bullies in general, general. I hate bullies in general. But I, I also felt sad for my bullies. A, a real emotion that I didn't expect I'd feel. Because I'm quite a feisty person. I didn't think I could ever feel that way about someone who, who went out their way to target me and my friend for no apparent reason. 
and uh, yeah they just look extremely miserable one of them um is still on the streets of london as far as i know on heroin um but sadly two of them jumped in front of a train at ingate stone train station and do you know what that affected me more than what they did to me i felt i don't know i can't explain it i really can't explain it and um obviously i feel really bad for the mother because she's lost two children and uh i really feel sad for people like that because they spend their whole lives bullying other people but they end up being so deserted and and lonely and sad themselves and and this is why it's important to talk about these things because bullies themselves don't realize the the consequences that they're going to do to themselves by how they treat people and um i just think if you do have any children out there you do feel they are being bullied at school college or in the workplace just make sure you you have time for them and i know as parents you will um and another thing as well um i don't know if anyone else has, has had this like seen this happen but i'm all up for encouraging children to, you know to stand up for themselves but um there's a certain child i, I know of that lives opposite me or used to live opposite me sorry they moved last week the parents encouraged that child to defend themselves which is good and they said like you know if someone hits you first you hit them back and I thought well you know fair enough and um, it's always good yeah to teach your kid to defend themselves or go to a teacher or come and talk to you and but sadly some children don't like to talk to their parents it's really really bizarre isn't it they don't like to admit to their parents what's going on and we need to try and encourage children to be more open themselves to their parents because it's okay me saying parents be open and ready for your children but sometimes it can go the opposite way which is sad um and this anyway this child um started to use that as an excuse to bully other people and because she knew she would always get away with it because you know that child can do no wrong it's always everybody else's fault why why you know this and and, and it caused all sorts of problems so yeah teach your ch children to defend themselves in the right way but don't let it become that they're using it as an, as an excuse to bully other children and uh, like i said bullies in themselves that they, they just don't realize what can actually happen in the consequences and their downfall and um it's 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 very very sad and um i'll just leave with this now when a certain person of montecito goes out of their way to bully a child i will go on about it until something is done I like to, I don't just talk, I like to try and encourage other people to actually take some form of um, action the right in the right way um, and not just blabber on YouTube. I like to try and encourage people to actually do something about it because we've been talking about all sorts of things for years, haven't we, guys? And what's nothing's being done about anything and not just them two from over the, over the pond. I'm talking about absolutely everything. And... Um, and it's because people don't encourage others to do something about it. And people need to lose the fear. You know, if bullies have the audacity to defame you um, because they think they've got the right to without fact checking first or, you know, in, that in itself is going to just cause all sorts of problems for them, not the person they're trying to defame. Um, and uh, it's just people need to lose the fear you really do because nothing's going to get done if we just talk about it 
we need to do something, but in the right legal way and take the right sort of steps. So we make videos a day about certain subjects until something's done about it. And it doesn't mean to say people have issues. YouTube is a place where some people feel that they can come to let off steam because the police are so bloody useless. I'll just make that point for what it's worth. So all I will leave you with is if you have a problem with someone, if well, if you decide you don't like someone for, for no apparent reason, then go and contact them in person. Don't try and be clever because the right thinking people will know who you're talking about and then it becomes a problem. So anyway, guys, I will probably be back more about this, the effects of things. I just wanted to try and make this a sort of quick one while I work. But um, you have a good day and don't forget, people, children's minds are extremely important and we must protect them at all cost. Have a good day.